words to calm the children, Ellen. As for me, what a blundering idiot. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, Mrs. Gosway. Doctor, this hospital seems to be falling apart. Good. But in the circumstances. Do you need any? I, you... I have to go now, sir. But. Do... Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening. Good, do you? Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Do you require my service? My condition cannot be under. I'll... my eyes poor woman butchered by some savage scalp yes and i'm afraid i'm at least partially responsible the man the scowl i brought him here jonathan how could you say such a thing forgive me if i feel despondent for there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Aww. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal. The executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? A hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my... Have you embraced... Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Do you need any medical assistance? Yes, indeed. Drugs. But don't worry. I have... Goodbye, Doctor. There you go.
Good evening. I'm Mesmer. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. You can't. Seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. Fear no evil. We do the Lord's work here. No, goodbye, Fermi! Oh, there's Good people evening, here that I'm Who the about. fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Ooh. Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some... So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you your remember. Your boys? Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. I could kill you for saying that. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. What can you tell me about the... Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to... He was one of my... Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by... Goodbye, Mr. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, you I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? 
I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. You don't have anything too grand, do you? Good evening. Hello. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked deaf in the eyes. The boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things. And I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double sh If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld. Cox. Fair enough. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats. No, I... That's exactly what... That... You're quite blunt. I like people who know what they... What can you tell me about... You can't trust anyone around. Really? But... You Take you... whatever. Boo Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Behind all your crude words and your attitude, I sense romance and a soft heart, Miss Cox. Romance? I have no time for such rubbish. I use Booth like I use everyone else. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of us. So you. No. Uh, so you. Goodbye. Hello. Uh, yeah. Good. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work Not of a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, night time, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Good, Good evening, you. <laughs> Murders by night. Ty. The important. Uh, where it. Good kind of prey I hunt, my lady. I shouldn't have offered a drink to the boy. He cursed all the money just to cut us off. Love. Well, then again, there's a. There's... I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run as far away from this place. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, oh, vampire Jesus. hunter extraordinaire and warden of the wow. East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Yeah. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. 
I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh boy. Jack Gillingham. <laughs> it's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. Bloody hell. These eat. I. It... I... I... You're I... annoying. Maybe at least you tell it. That's funny. Anyway, let's see. Big. Do you need? Uh, I thought he had a. Goodbye. Who was it? Mr. Watts. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. Times like these are good. Any problems? Take them. I'm looking for. Oh, who about us? Good. What? I'm. Me what? Wait. Whispers of Mon. I did not. Well, my so long. I didn't mean to hit that. Oops. Eve, do you need help? A real dog. Do you swell back? What sort? Hey, have you? What? I listen. Do you think? I'm gonna eat this guy. I think. I've snuck. Then on what? Fuck the Stella. So love to gaze at the stars. Who the hell are you? Good evening, sir. I don't. What? His well. I know. His well. I know. I'm just. I can't manage to make my. And it's that weird. Listen. Good. A bad person. Keep an important conversation. Good. I work. Uh. I'm not sure the epidemic is what worries people most these days. It's locked, all right. Yeah. 
How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East. The orphan that regards you as a mother, please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through death. Did your... I'm... I'm... You... I'm... Goodbye. Do you require... I met everybody in this district. Wow. Still miss. Quite a few people that stay here. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not that much lower than he is.